And so it is with us. When, we, when Christ, when God looks at us, all He says is, do you have the blood of Christ in your heart? If you do, if you do, then I, I am with you. I am with you every single day. I am with you. I am for you. And then, but we become so concentrated on ourselves. But if I am unforgiving to others, it's a sign that I am unforgiving to myself. And this is torment for us. I am a Christian. I'm to be happy. Why? Because I'm a good Christian. But you know what? Joy happens because we are forgiven Christians. That's what causes the greatest joy. I have been forgiven so much of my... That remember when the disciples went out and the, uh, the demons were subject to them and they healed people when they touched them and they were so happy. And Jesus said, don't rejoice in this. Don't be so happy about that. But rejoice in this thing, that your name is written in the book of life. Rejoice that you have been forgiven. Don't rejoice that you are such a good Christian. Because maybe the circumstances will come that you would be a bad Christian one day. Could happen. And if you are, then your system of unforgiveness will turn against you. And you will be tormented. Last verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We see this amazing ministry given back to us by God. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. Verse 18. All things are of God. All things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their sins to them, and now he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. So now, then, we are ambassadors of Christ, as though God himself, himself through us, is saying, in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. This is our ministry as Christians. It's so easy. Our ministry is simply, your sins are forgiven. Bless you. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. It's so amazing. What is the representation of Christ in this world? It is us believers saying, your sins are forgiven. I don't condemn you. I don't judge you. Your sins are forgiven. God has forgiven your sins. We are part of a kingdom. We are part of a kingdom whose king is merciful. And how, do, how, do the, how does the world know that Jesus is merciful? Because we are. We are forgiving. And what a joy it is to be able to have this ministry and to share it with those that are around us. So let's pray this morning, okay? God in heaven, we're just so thankful that you have been merciful to us. Lord, we know our debt and you have forgiven it. Thank you, Lord, for this forgiveness. Thank you for taking not some of our sins, not just the sins of the past, but all of our sins away and put them behind your back, put them in the depths of the sea as far as the east is from the west. Lord, as we go, we want to carry this ministry, this light burden of just simply saying, your sins are forgiven to our children, to our spouse, to our family, to our neighbors, to our enemies, to ourselves. Lord, that we can rejoice that you have delivered us from our sins. We thank you for it. We praise you. In Jesus Christ's name.